me, let me, let me talk about our, our, our brothers and sisters, our migrant brothers and sisters. Damn it, they say they fed up with us. They sick of this shit. Damn it, damn it. Now they made a choice, and the choice was right until they hadn't got around here. Fed up migrants who triked thousands of miles to the U.S. already heading back home. They going back to the crib. Uh huh. American dream doesn't exist. The American dream doesn't exist. That's how they feel. And, and, and uh, they intense and they parked by the lift bikes. Shit, they, 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 damn it, they out there with the porta potties. Cold as hell like that. It's raining, rain, wind, and cold. It really don't mix. Damn it, they got their own garbage cans and shit. You know, it's three, four, five people to a tent. We got babies. We done came all the way over here with four, five youngins. Yeah, yeah, the American dream, it don't exist. The American dream, it really don't exist. Yeah. I feel that pain, kind of, sort of, but not really. Um, I feel that pain. So, hey, they talking bad about us. They talking bad about us. Our, our, our hospitality is not what they had to thought it was out here in these streets. Or maybe, maybe they was misinformed that you can just come over here and just, you know, um, prosper like that. Somebody missed that thing that you had to tell them. People had to work decades. When other people came over here, and even even if they came over right or wrong, they still had to work decades to get the American dream. Y'all, y'all only been like at this thing for like a year, right? If if I'm not mistaken, it's been like a good little year or something like that, right there, right? Y'all y'all already fed up. Man, I thought y'all was strong. I thought y'all was our strong br br brothers and sisters, our hardworking brothers and sisters. Say some Venezuelan, some Venezuelan migrants who track thousands of miles to the U.S. search of a better life are so disheartened. They say they say that they already is heading back to the crib, y'all. Michael Castin John. Michael Caston John, I think that's how you pronounce it, 35 years old, had done told Chicago Tribune is that he has had enough after he, his wife, and teenage stepdaughter spent five months sleeping either in a police precinct or a crowded city shelter in the now brutally cold, windy city. I would just say this right here. You are supposed to do it like geological... Um, research like we have been told now in the great united states of america before you travel outside of the country please 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 um research all the information about the laws in the other countries and stuff like that no kind of kind of know where to go and where not to go that's what has been told to americans since we've had like a few americans who could not come back for whatever reason for whatever reason so now we have been educated that we have to educate ourselves before we you know take that journey so um to all our migrant brothers and sisters who are still coming maybe y'all need to stop by the lake go online and stuff like that right though and look at like all of the states and stuff that you may be able to go in and like do they have shelter do they really want y'all around here do they have like enough funds to take care of y'all oh we taking care of y'all do we have enough funds Enough fun to take care of y'all. Be able to house y'all and feed y'all and stuff like that right now. He say that um, 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 he, ha he has had enough after he, he, his wife and teenage stepdaughter spent five months sleeping in a police station, a, a police precinct, or a crowded city shelter in the now brutally cold winter city. Think about this right now. Y'all been here for five months. Y'all ain't got no work visas, do you? No, 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 no. No, you, no, you ain't got no work visas. So that means that you can't work. So that means that you can't work, so that also means that you ain't got no money. So if you ain't got no money, then typically the only way that you can um, feed, like food and stuff like that, you have to buy food. And you can't buy food without money and or swapping or some or bartering or some because you still say that you had a, um, a wife and a teenage stepdaughter. So you can barter. I ain't tripping. Um, but y'all ain't got no paper. Oh, so y'all been for five months sleeping somewhere kind of nice. Well, indoors, like indoors, like y'all want outside. And y'all been able to eat for five months. 
for free. For free to you, but not to free for the people who 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 picks up the tab um um to cover you all eating expenses. Yeah, it's kind of like the American way, like we um 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 like we take from the people who bust their ass um um to give to people who who just, you know, just come on around here and expect the American dream just just and, and expect the American dream to just jump, drop off in their lap. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Shout out to Deborah for the for the for the one dollar cash shop. You say working OT six p.m. to five a.m. tomorrow. Oh Jesus! And then my five a.m. eight hour shift. Oh my God! You getting it in? Get that paper though. If Thanksgiving is criminal, listen. If you want, if you want to make it to the American dream, S see this is how you have to work to all my Venezuelan. Brothers and sisters, migrant brothers and sisters out here. This is how you have to work. You have to work like a regular ship, then some overtime for the American dream. Y'all been here five months. Y'all ain't got the work visas yet. Then we got to find a job. You know what I'm saying? You got to do all, it's steps. It's, it's steps to this stuff. He says he's also been unable to secure a job permit or, or enroll his daughter in a local school. A lot of I, um, 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 kids, like, they go to school online and stuff like that right there. So you're going to get, like, a laptop or a phone or something like that. Uh, he said two of the main reasons, he said things that that would bring a better life in the U.S. Yeah, the American dream doesn't exist anymore. Hmm. Castor John or Castor One, Castor One? told the paper on the eve of his family's departure. There's nothing here for us. We just want to be home. Oh, so home was kind of good. Oh, so home was great. What kind of script? It's better than here. <laughs> How many of y'all believe that Venezuela is better than here? <laughs> he said, there's nothing for us here. We just want to go home. He told the Tribune, um... Um, of of the South American country he earlier fled. Okay, look at the love right there. Now, that's a relationship right there. He said, if we're going to be sleeping in the streets here, we'd rather be sleeping in the streets over there. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. He said, more than 25,000 migrants have made their way to Chicago since August of 2022. So y'all been here, Pat, well, well, well the migrant traveling have been going on for over a year. All right, cool. He says, so when Republican Texas Governor Abbott began loading them on the buses and stuff and shipping them all to the sanctuary cities, many of them ended up sleeping at O'Hara International Airport at a local police station in the streets. And yeah, 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 yeah. He said, fed up, fed up with a lot, fed up with a lack of housing and job opportunities. He eventually followed in the footsteps of other delusional asylum seekers and turned to Catholic charities to obtain plane tickets for his family to travel to Texas. I'm going to repeat that one more again. <laughs> he eventually followed in the footsteps of other delusional asylum seekers and turned to Catholic charities to obtain plane tickets. But y'all ain't got no job um, papers, so y'all can't work. Y'all can't work. Y'all can't make no money. If y'all can't make no money, y'all can't buy your own plane tickets and leave. Oh, so again, people, hardworking people, is still supporting y'all to even get y'all plane tickets to get from around here to go back home. Got it. Got it. From there, um... They will somehow find a way to return to their native um, Venezuela, um, v Venezuela, Venezuela. He say, how many more months of living in the streets will it take? Say, no, no more. He say, it's better that I leave. He said, I, I, because at least, at least I have my mother back home. He said, of a South American nation, he fled earlier this year. So it was him, his wife, and his stepdaughter. He said, I can at least go on back to the crib because at least I got my mama back home. He 39. I'm going to need him to grow up a little bit more. 
him, his wife, and his stepdaughter. I'd rather go on back home because at least I got my mom around now. Oh, he wanted them mama boys. He is one of them mama boy. God damn it. Listen, listen, listen. Like they tell folks in the street, um, 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 damn it, you got to start with the bootstraps. You got to lace up your bootstraps or something. You say, damn it, like we say, you got to get up out the mud, shout it. You got to get up out the mud. <laughs> got to get a pack from somewhere, pimp. I'm just trying to tell you something. Shit. Come on, now. Nah. But damn it, okay. Sorry, sorry we weren't able to, you know, really assist you in the way that you wanted to be assist. But a lot of people that spent a hell of a lot of money to having y'all and housing y'all for the, for these five months. I do understand your 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 pain, your anger. I do get it because there's nothing that you can do for yourself. That's why we try to tell people to come over here the legal way. Because when you come over here the illegal way, then you don't have like job papers and stuff like that. And it's real difficult for you to start working, take care of yourself. So we done supported you, your wife, and your stepdaughter for at least five months. You the only one been able to smash your wife. No one else has been able to smash your wife, but we been taking care of your wife. Ain't nobody been able to smash you. <laughs> we been taking care of you. None of the teenagers have been able to smash your stepdaughter. Damn it. We got teenagers who work. So, damn it, they tax dollars went to take care of your stepdaughter, too. Everybody been able, everybody done took care of y'all, but you the only one been able to smash your wife. That's a damn shame. I'm just throwing something out here, but listen, we're going to try better next time. That's really what we're going to do. Moving right along, I don't need much one to hold, y'all. That's 